People think I'm joking when I call brambles carnivorous plants. But before you sneer, just look at the evidence. There you go, and another one. Tiny, two of them. Hey, darling. You're a bit stuck, aren't you? If no one rescued this lamb, it would be dead in a couple of days. How long have you been here? And that's not counting attack from crows or dogs. Then round and round. We'll soon have your help, won't we? Sheep caught like this give up struggling quite quickly and just stand there calmly waiting for death to arrive. They die of thirst or starvation, obviously, but often they end up on their backs and die of pneumonia. Now, you might be saying, that doesn't make a bramble into a carnivorous plant just because look, lambs get me, caught in it. But again, look at the evidence. First, the motive. Obviously, the plant would benefit for years from the remains of a dead animal decaying into the ground around its roots. Yeah. There's another one. Well done. Sheep. Look at you go. Secondly, the means. The sheep get caught on their spines. But these spines are not just defensive. They don't just stick out straight like gorse spikes do. These are backward facing hooks. They actually draw the prey in towards the middle where they get caught by more hooks. The more the prey struggles, the more they get caught. No, these are actively catching the sheep, drawing them in and then holding them tightly till they die of exhaustion and starvation and then taking in their nutrients as the sheep rots away. Surely that's practically a definition of a carnivorous plant. Go on lads, go on, where you go. And as any sheep farmer will tell you, brambles are very successful at this. They can and do kill thousands of sheep every year. Often you see just a sad pile of wool and bones deep in a hedge, all that remains of their latest victim. All the sheep that are sheared annually don't get caught so often, and young lambs don't have long enough wool, but the ones in between are vulnerable, so we have to watch out for hours every single day. Of course, brambles are also one of our most productive and useful plants. Very importantly, they are pioneers, they can survive in grassland and are a vital first step in converting grassland back to woodland. They also produce vast amounts of pollen and nectar for almost half the year at low temperatures, essential food for insects like my honeybees. And they provide safe habitat for many insects and birds. And of course they make blackberries. But they are also deadly killers. The humble blackberry, not quite as innocent as you might have thought.